race cars, I bet you can probably guess what we're gonna talk about now. Seriously though, tires are actually a bit more complex and interesting than you might actually think. So this really big tire right here was actually used during a space shuttle mission. As big as it may look though, it's actually not much bigger than a truck tire. Fun fact time! So even though the sizes of the tires are not much different, the main landing gear tire can handle up to three times the load of a Boeing 747 airplane tire or the entire starting lineup of a NASCAR race. So 40 cars hitting 250 miles an hour. So the space shuttle has four main landing gear tires and two nose landing gear tires. The tire we actually have right here is a main landing gear tire and it's from the Columbia OV-102 mission. The main gear tires were inflated with nitrogen to about 315 PSI and the nose gear tires were inflated to around 300 PSI. So the main gear tires were only used once each time and the nose gear tires could be used for up to two landings. Believe it or not, shuttle tires can actually go from negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit on landing within minutes. Weight in the space industry is very important. So the tires are actually made with a minimum amount of tread to conserve weight, which allows for larger payloads. The load per pound of this tire is 695 pounds and its max speed is about 259 miles per hour. So again, jet dragsters are similar but different in terms of what their tires can do. Both tires are made of bias ply because they're made for short trips and they're very, very strong. Even though the shuttle main gear tire was only used once, these jet dragster tires are actually used indefinitely until they dry rot. Unlike shuttle tires, jet dragster tires are actually only inflated to about 50 PSI. So the front tires are loaded up to about 175 pounds and the rear tires are loaded to about 520 pounds. The tires of a jet dragster though are actually never overworked because the heat that they have to withstand is actually very, very low. One very important feature that these tires share is the fact that they are built to prevent ply separation regardless of outside temperature or air pressure. This is done by utilizing vent holes in the rubber side walls. The vent holes have been designed to prevent any air or nitrogen that is trapped in the internal cords of the body. So for simpler terms, it allows it to breathe. Tires play such a big role in keeping our astronauts and drivers safe. They're a bit more complex than you might actually think. 